endometriosis of the bowel is very common. Actually, after the endometriosis of the reproductive organ, which includes the uterus, the tubes, the ovaries, and also peritoneal endometriosis, endometriosis of the bowel is the most common. It may cause problems including bloating. All the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome could be related also to endometriosis. That means all of the patients that are diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome and that are female patients in the reproductive age group, their symptoms mimic the symptoms of endometriosis and endometriosis could be one of the factors of the irritable bowel syndrome. So it could cause bloating, pain with bowel movement, it could cause constipation or diarrhea or both of them mid-cycle or at the time of menstruation. It could cause uh, bleeding at the time of menstruation, rectal bleeding. Sometimes it could cause nausea and vomiting. And in rare occasions, endometriosis of the bowel could cause actually bowel obstruction. It is a very, very important to remember and know how to manage endometriosis of the bowel. It is not always necessary to remove a part of the bowel or do bowel resection for endometriosis. Actually, that is rarely, rarely required. Endometriosis of the bowel, the most common, if you look at it, is around rectosigmoid colon. This is the bowel, this is appendix is here, this is called ascending colon, this is transverse colon, here is descending colon, here we call it rectosigmoid colon, this is called rectum and anus. And the this is most common here first, in the rectosigmoid colon, and then in the rectum area, then it is in the ileum, small bowel around here, then it is the appendix, and then it is the cecum. For its management, there are many, many options, including doing nothing, sometimes manage it only with hormones, and occasionally with surgery, but it doesn't mean we have to resect the bowel all the time. Actually, the closer the endometriosis is to the rectum and rectosigmoid colon, the better to be able to be conservative and actually not to do bowel resection but because the complications of the bowel resection itself could be worse than the symptoms. So I highly encourage you, if you think you have endometriosis of the bowel, refer to different articles that authorities have published. We also have published some articles that is very important recently in the June of last year, we published in the Journal of American College of OBGYN an important article that we reviewed all the techniques and we encourage you to read it, share it with your physician that hopefully you receive the best treatment. I wish you best of luck.